Hi everyone, I'm Chong Ji Chen from National Taiwan University. Today I will introduce our paper in the web conference Evaluating the Rationale of Amateur Investors. Here is the outline of today's presentation. First, I will introduce the motivation of this work and the uh, experimental results with the introduced to the data set we'll also present. And we'll also compare our result with the professional analysis and uh, we'll also compare the different ranking methods. We also propose a data set in this paper and it's for advanced exploration and some future research direction about argument mining in finance will also present. Finally, we'll conclude with our contributions and I will also share some related events with you. This is the goal of this work. We attempt to mine high quality opinions by inspecting the supporting rationals. So uh, let's see some methods in previous work. Here shows two commonly used approaches. The first one is that we can understand whether the post is useful or useless. And this kind of method is expensive because it's uh, costly to understand a sufficient number of training instances. And the other kind of approach is that we can use the reader feedback like Facebook like. And this kind of approach cannot predict the quality of the post when it just posts. That is the uh, scenario of CoStar. So to address these two issues, in this paper, we propose uh, an approach based on a simple idea. This slide shows our approach. Uh, the basic notion of uh, our approach is that the high quality posts from the crowd may share the characteristics with the article written by experts. So we use the document written by experts and crowd as our data set and train the model to discriminate the expert rationals from the crowd rationals. And leverage on the uh, high quality and high accuracy of the models, we can use the outcome of model to mine high quality opinions from the crowd. Uh, the idea is that if the rational written by the crowd are predicted to be uh, as per rational, we infer that the quality of the opinion in this document is higher than that of opinion in document predicted to be the crowd rational. So uh, by in this way, we address the issue of cost star and uh, few followers. Here is the research questions that we attend to discuss in this paper. And uh, when we uh, in the discussion session, uh, I will show these questions again. So uh, let's see the text setting in this paper. The goal of this work is to evaluate the quality of the opinion from the crowd. So the first first uh, assumption in this paper is that the more expert-like sentence in their post, the higher quality their posts are. So that's the way we use to do the quality evaluation. And what is the expert-like sentence? Uh, in this paper, when a sentence is predicted as an expert rational, we call this sentence is the expert-like sentence because this is not written down by expert, but it's been considered as the uh, sentence that is written by expert by models. So uh, we believe that either the style or the wording of the rational is similar to an expert. So the model will predict this sentence as the uh, sentence written by the expert. So based on this notion, we try to sorting out the uh, posts that contain lots of expert-like sentence. And we call these kinds of posts is the high quality post. Here shows an example of the data we use in the experiment. As you can see here, uh, the social media post follow uh, a template. That means the uh, crowds are writing their opinion based on this template, and the posts that do not follow the template will be deleted by the admin. So we can use a rule-based method to extract the rational from social media platform. And uh, here is the statistic of the uh, data set we used. Uh, first is the sentence level uh, statistic, and uh, we extract the stylistic features and semantic features. Now I will going to share the results in our experiment. This slide shows the results of discriminating analysis and amateur rationals. As you can see from the from this table, the fusion model that is uh, used both stylistic and semantic features performs very well in this text and that shows the uh, answer for the first research questions. And uh, we also try to analyze this, uh, the reason why the model performs well in uh, this text. And uh, we find that the wordings of 
uh, professionals and the crowds are very different. So uh, that may be the reason why models can perform very well in this test. After training uh, discriminating models, now we use the other dataset that is no overlap between this dataset and the dataset used to training the discriminating models. And we use this dataset to show that whether the proposed idea can mine high quality opinions. And we use two metrics to evaluate the result. The first one is the maximum possible profit. Uh, this, this metric is used for showing the potential profit of the, of the opinion. That is, if we trading based on the high quality opinion sorting out, uh, how what's the uh, maximum profit we can gain from this trend. And the other one is for evaluate the downside risk, we call that is maximum loss. So here shows the results of this experiment. First, we random select some posts from a uh, social media platform, and here is the MPP and NL of this method. And we also compare with the baseline, let's use the like uh, this postcard from, uh, to sorting out the posts during the, uh, the data collective period. And the result is about uh, 8% 8 in MVP and 9% uh, of ML. And here, these two models is proposed in this paper. And the uh, best FM model means the best future model for discriminating the rationals. And you can find that we can get about 30% MVP if we only use the top 20 opinions sorting out by the proposed approach. And the uh, downside risk is also lower than previous best size. And we also compare uh, the best performing model with the other model that only use POS features. And you can find that also the uh, MPP is lower than best FM model, but the uh, uh, max loss is uh, lower than the uh, best performing future model. So uh, we'll discuss these two models later. And basically we suggest to use the model uh, that only use POS features and I will explain that later. So let's have some discussion for our results. Firstly, we try to compare the professional repo with the crowd post. And from readability, we can find that uh, it's very different between the analysis repo and the crowd post. Uh, professionals use many hard words, complex semantic sentence. And from wording, we can also find that uh, professionals use many words like estimate. But uh, crowds use like guest or a uh, pattern short like this kind of word. Secondly, we compare the trading results of following professional analysis repo and following the opinion sorting out by the proposed methods. We find that professionals always recommend some stock that have more potential than crowd. But from a uh, downside risk aspect, uh, if we follow the, the opinion that sorting out by the proposed approach, the downside risk is lower than uh, follow professionals opinions. So uh, it's hard to say which is the better one, but uh, this is the finding of uh, this work. And uh, we also provide some statistic of the mentioned stock of professionals and the crowd. And uh, we find that the uh, mentioned stock are very different between the uh, crowd and the professionals. However, uh, the proportion of the recommended stock in the stock exchange market or the over the counter market are very similar. But the average market cap of the uh, recommended stock from crowds is a little bit lower than the professionals. Now we are going to compare the different ranking methods for answering research question two. And uh, there are two reasons for uh, we, re on we recommend to use only stylistic features. Uh, the first one is that due to the wording habits, we cannot get the bearish opinion from crowd investors if we adopt the semantic features. Because uh, professionals only write down the bullish reports. So if uh, if we use the semantic features, the uh, many sentences related to bearish opinion may not be sorting out. So that's the first reason why we recommend it to use only uh, stylistic features. And the second one is that uh, in our experiment, we find that the uh, top 10 opinion of the stylistic uh, features that it perform better than the uh, use both uh, stylistic and semantic features. That means the very high quality opinions sorting out by the stylistic features performs better than uh, the opinion sorting out by future models. So uh, that's why we 
recommend it to use the stylistic features only in the model instead of use both. Also, it can get a uh, higher accuracy in discriminating. And uh, something curious about uh, what if we use the aggregation of analysis and the top rank post uh, based on the proposed approach. Here shows the results, and we can get the uh, uh, about twenty percent MPP in uh, when using both analysis repo and the uh, stylistic features, and about five percent uh, max drawdown in the. Uh, when using this post. And below, we show some case study in uh, our experiment. Sometimes uh, they may mention the same target at the same time, but they uh, have an accurate case, and this is the inaccurate case. And uh, sometimes, crowd may follow the professionals to mention the same stock. That means uh, maybe analysts will mention at uh, this day, and the crowd will also mention the same stock, but uh, it's a few days later than professionals. And here also shows the uh, positive instance, and this is the negative instance. So uh, we leave this research direction for future work because, uh, as you see, it may be an interesting issue that was to explore. The other issue is in our experiment is that we select the rational manually, and we also collect the rational of uh, social media user via the robust uh, method. And that shows uh, the restriction of use the proposed method in order to. Uh, release this restriction, uh, we propose the other data set for uh, detecting the claim and rationale of investors. And in our uh, second paper, we propose a claim detection data set. And uh, in this paper, we propose the other data set that call a uh, rational detection and the claim rational inference data set. So uh, in this way, uh, models can automatically extract the rational of the investors. And here shows the performance of baselines. Finally, uh, we attempt to propose some future research direction uh, for enhancing opinion quality evaluation. Basically, we think that the argument mining notions can be accepted in uh, this direction. Firstly, we think that an investor's opinion can be transferred into argumentation structure. That is, uh, after we detect the premise and the related claims, and we can use this kind of graph to form the relation between the argumentation units. And this kind of structure is being shown useful in uh, like persuasive essay estimation and uh, student argumentative essay scoring, like this kind of uh, text. But uh, there are few exploration in financial domain. So with the proposed data set in this paper, maybe we can start to explore this direction, that is to form the argumentation structure of an investor opinions. Secondly, we also think that the argumentation structure of opinions is also uh, worth to explore in the future. Because uh, when we use social media data, in this paper, we only use the original post. But the replies may also provide some clues for uh, evaluate the opinions uh, quality. Like uh, the reply 1 and 2 is supporting the claim of the original post. That may mean the original post is rational, is trustable. But uh, re reply 3 and reply 4 is attack the uh, Claim of the original post. So, uh, with the overall view of the post, instead of using one post to evaluate the quality, may be may also be a interesting direction for future work, and that could also be considered as the extension of the proposed text. So let's conclude uh, with the contribution of this work. Uh, we propose an important text that is mining high quality opinion in financial social media platform, and we propose an novel approach which based on a simple idea and we show that this idea is very useful and can show out some high quality uh, opinions for trading and uh, we also propose a data set called icrd for a uh, future world to explore the argument mining in finance in the future finally i want to share some related events with all of you first is uh, we Organize a finance research text in NTCIR, and the topic is about the uh, uh, investor and managers argument detection. This topic is highly related to the uh, problem proposed in this paper, and we also organize some share text and workshop related to the uh, fintech and NLP and fintech on the web. So if you are interested to uh, these events, please feel free to join us. And uh, below is the. Uh, phone for uh, leaving your email address to us and I will update the news to all of you if you uh, leave your email to us. So uh, thank you for your attention and feel free to contact us if you have any questions.